So today we have our May roundtable call for you guys. And today is going to be centered around subscribe and save. Um, there's a pretty big update to subscribe and save and what is available for those of you guys that are listening or here on the call that have subscribe and save products. So last month, Amazon unveiled subscribe and save coupons. Now subscribe and save coupons, you know, we've definitely seen them around, but to our knowledge, this is the first time this has come into play for all subscribe and save brands. So it's very exciting and it's a really great way for you guys to grow your subscriptions on Amazon, which is obviously huge because that obviously increases the lifetime value of your customer. So the more we can push to subscribe and save, the better. So how do you find the subscribe and save coupons? So to find subscribe and save coupons, you're actually just gonna go to the coupon dashboard, which is located under the advertising tab. And in the upper left-hand corner, you are going to see subscribe and save coupons. So you'll go ahead and select that. And from there, you're actually gonna fill out the exact same information you would fill out for a normal coupon clipping. So you're gonna give the dates that you want to set the coupon clipping for, the discount amount, which you're gonna be able to pick between a percentage off or a dollar off amount, and then any budget amount that you are going to be putting towards it. So just as a reminder, what that budget amount counts for is the discount you're providing. So let's say you're doing a dollar off, um, plus the coupon clipping fee. Um, so that is what is being accounted for. So generally speaking, I like to say you should generally go a little bit higher, like maybe a couple thousand bucks, because generally you're not going to spend that much, but it's good to have kind of a buffer just because if you do like say, set it at maybe a hundred dollars or something like that, it can shut off if you've already spent that. So uh, just keeping in mind, really, the only thing you're paying for is the coupon clipping fee. That dollar off amount is just coming off of the price. It's not actually coming from the sale per se. So that is uh, what it's asking for as well as naming the coupon clipping, but normal behavior right there. So what is this going to look like and how is it going to drive sales? So it's going to be located in the exact same spot as a normal coupon clipping. So it's gonna have that orange badge coupon clipping, but the only difference is instead of say, saying clip here for $5 off, it's gonna say save an extra $5 on your first subscribe and save order. So this is only going to apply to subscriptions. It is not going to apply to a normal purchase. So you are good to go there. Now, this is still something our team is testing. So just something to keep in mind and something for you guys to test on your own. But from what we are seeing, you should be able to run this coupon clipping in conjunction with pot potentially a prime exclusive discount. And the reason why is because a prime exclusive discount or a sales price or something like that would basically be on the normal price, which the subscribe and save is not, right? Subscribe and save, it's its own price. So again, this is something we're still testing out, but it's worth you guys testing as well. Are you able to run that prime exclusive discount with a subscribe and save coupon clipping? Because what we're thinking is this could potentially be a solid prime, prime day strategy where you can almost have two badges going, but really they can, they have to pick. Either they do a prime exclusive discount or they do the subscribe and save coupon. So again, that's a strategy we're testing out and I'm gonna get back to you guys when we talk next time, just because it's something we're testing. But if you wanna go ahead and test it ahead of me, go ahead. But that is what we're basically understanding it as is, is you can't combine the two because realistically they are two different prices. So again, the only time people are gonna be able to use this coupon clipping is when they are deciding to subscribe. If they're not able, if they're not subscribing, then they will not be able to use it. Um, now, when it comes to um, the subscribe and save coupon, um, you are able to do percentage off or a dollar off amount. So our, our philosophy on that is you should do a test to see which one works better. So the screenshot I have over here to the right uh, shows a $5 off coupon clipping, but you guys are able to set that coupon clipping to a percentage off as well. The minimum amount that you have to do is a 5%, and then Amazon actually just changed their coupon clipping rules to 50% being the highest off. So you could do between five to 50% 
off for that subscribe and save coupon. So my recommendation would be to do a split test to see how it works. Does the dollar off amount work better or does the percentage off work better? Realistically, we believe that dollar off usually does better just because people don't like to do math. But that being said, I do believe it is worth the test because sometimes based off your customer demographic, one will work better than the other. So it is worth the test if this is something that you are not aware of. Now, one question that we have been getting is, okay, how do I track these new coupons? So first, the subscribe and save coupons are going to be the same as regular coupons. The stats are going to be stored in the coupon clipping dashboard. So you'll be able to track the coupon clipping directly in your um, coupon clipping dashboard, okay? But then another question that's been coming up quite a bit is how am I going to track if subscribers are coming from this coupon clipping? Well, really the only way for us to be able to tell this is by tracking our subscriptions, which is something you guys should be doing every single month, making sure your subscriptions are always heading in the right direction, which is obviously going up. So we recommend doing that, making sure your subscribers are going up. And basically how you can tell, did this coupon clipping work is, did your subscribers increase at a higher rate than they normally do? So what I usually see with most of my clients that have subscriptions is there's usually a pretty consistent increase. Um, very rarely do I see a decrease in subscribers, I will say. Um, so for my brands that do have subscribe and save, it's usually the same increase or similar increase percentage wise month over month. So the best way to, to see, did this coupon clipping work is, did we see a higher percentage increase of our subscriptions while the subscribe and save coupon was running? So in terms of this strategy, this is something I would recommend rolling out to all of your subscribe and save products as soon as possible, just because this is going to increase your LTV, really getting people through the door, really convincing them to subscribe. And then usually once they're subscribed, they say they stay subscribed, right? So definitely a big push and something that I can see being a big difference maker um, as it progresses. So in terms of May, that's all I have for Roundtable. If you guys have any questions about the strategy or subscribe and save in general, don't hesitate to reach out to your coach or reach out to us here at Turnkey Product Management. Thank you so much.